and welcome to today's episode. Today we'll be talking about helicopter winch area. On my vessel, which I'm currently sailing on, we do have a helicopter winch area. This is located on the trunk deck on the starboard side. So let's talk about the uh, helicopter operations. Helicopter operations usually take place in ports where the uh, helicopter is required to bring on board the pilot or in an instance that we need to immediately evacuate somebody from the ship. So that could be for an emergency. Or if it is required to bring on board stores or even firefighting teams in order to extinguish a fire. So this vessel here has the below clear zone. The yellow circle behind me is the clear zone. Down here you may see written winch only which states that no landing can take place. We have the inner diameter which I will show you later on. The white line which is around the uh, helicopter winch only area and we have the outer uh, line, outer maneuvering zone line where again this is the outer diameter line where the helicopter can operate. So basically what is important to know is that the center back, the yellow center that I have, this is the place where the pilot or whoever is is going to embark or disembark. So this is the point where we need to focus on. The rails behind me which are painted in yellow are removable so in case we have a helicopter operation as you may understand we need to bring down the railings and of course the bolts are nuts and we have to remove them and we have to keep them somewhere stored without leaving them on deck the area surrounding this here uh, zone should be clear without any debris down on the deck so remember if they have left something down you need to collect it in regards now to the operation, in order to perform the operation, the captain has to establish communication with the pilot. So this is done via emails prior hand and of course on scene via VHF. In regards now to the uh, con conditions that we'll need to uh, take into account, the captain needs to take into account to minimize the spraying of seawater in the area. So let's say it will not be good to bring the uh, sea conditions on the bow, starboard side or port side when the, when the weather conditions are bad because this will generate spraying and the spraying may cause issues to the helicopter. One issue that can happen to the helicopter is that water can enter inside on one of the engines or two of the engines and uh, have reduction in the power of the engine and of course possibility of losing the engine so that may result in a crash. So remember, we need to take into account that factor. Rolling and pitching is also another factor we need to take into account. So we need to maintain, as I said, a safe course, a safe heading, and to minimize these two factors. Why is that? Because you don't want a vessel rolling forward and starboard, and you don't want a vessel pitching forward and up. So you try and find the best solution for this operation to take place. During the operation, here in the area, the uh, DPO, the uh, deck personnel officer, he's in charge of leading the fire teams stand by here and in case of an emergency to, uh, to tackle the fire in case if something happens. So what do, what do they do prior? They will need to put um, a wind indicator in order to assist the pilot to have clear scene where the wind uh, is coming from. Then he will need to go and uh, assist in picking up the pilot. But before picking up the pilot, just remember when the wire is coming down, first let the grounding, the grounding uh, cable, touch the ship's deck, and then you can go and grab the pilot. There are some helicopters that also are equipped with grounding systems, so it may not be required. But remember, there's that small cable laying below the uh, below the body of the pilot or the person who's coming on board, let it, let, leave it down to touch the uh, ship's deck and then you may go and assist in order to uh, make fast. It is very, very important that when we conduct the operations, there might be a, a person inside the uh, clear zone where he will come in visual contact with the winchman of the helicopter. Why is that? Because you can point out when you've made fast, 
the uh, strap or the, uh, uh, the harness so you can make contact with the winch man in order to commence heaving up or lowering down. So as I showed you, this is heaving up, this is lowering down. And of course, if you want to stop the operation, like that. Well, here we are again. The following standards should be taken into account. In between the clear zone to the inner maneuvering zone, no obstruction should be inside with a height more than 3 meters. And between the inner zone and the outer zone, no obstruction should also be inside with a height more than 6 meters. In case that there is any, these should be painted with a red color. While commencing the operations, the ship's radars should be on standby mode and transmit when the operation has been successfully completed. For nighttime operations, the Derrick Post floodlights should be switched on, including the forward and aft navigation mast lights, and of course, the ship's funnel needs to be light up. So another episode has came to the end. I hope you liked it and eventually some things were picked up from this video. So if you like the videos of this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and comment in the section below. Till next time, take care.